Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Got a pretty busy day today. Oh, by the way, it's my second channel, Daily Vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. Just waiting for my friend Count Stankus to come over. He's gonna take me to a couple secret locations. I do not know what the Hello. day is going to. Hello. Count Stankus? I brought you something. It's gonna be a reaction. You're gonna react to this? Something? It's in the back? So get, get your head close. Get it close? Don't worry, nothing will jump out at you. Get it close? What is it? Close. It smells good. It's some sort of plant, Count Sankus. Those are petunias. Are these real petunias? Yes. Are those petunias? Yes. It says petunias. petunias. Is this mine? Are these mine? Am yeah. I gonna plant these? If you want. This will settle the confusion. <laughs> are those petunias? Yes. What's going on here? This is an old strip mall. It was very popular in the 80s. It was very popular at arcades, pizza place, lots of stores. There was a golf land right next door, very cool. Wanna get out and walk around? Yeah, let's go check it out. The only thing left in this entire now abandoned strip mall is a hydroponics place. Even the crows are out. It's good to see Bubba Gump's brothers getting some work. That's some good shrimp there, boy. Shrimp scampi, yeah. shrimp gumbo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Venom was here. Yeah, Spider-Man would be jealous, man. Yeah, the, sn the snaky creature. The crazy thing is the newspaper areas over there. You gotta wonder what the date on all those are. It wouldn't be very hard to push this fence over, though, if you just, like, went... This is kind of like one of those, like, movie riot fences when everyone's like, rah, 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 rah. That wasn't a very good riot scene. Nice little veranda. This isn't fenced off. And there's some more plants over here. I'm picking up a theme. Hydroponics down that way and plants over here. If you look closely through this fence, a heart has been burned onto the door. That's some kind of sign. Some peanuts. Look at that delicious burger. The real question is, Count Stankus, yes. do you prefer this place over In N Out or Five Guys under In N Out? Who's better? You like this better? In N Out. It's not In N Out. Not an In N Out guy? No. I like In N Out. What happened here, Count Stankus? Huh? Oh, 1984. I sat right there. And why would you have been sitting right here in the middle of traffic? I'm not gonna tell it. Because in 1984, the Olympics came to LA and the torch came down the street, past the target, down the street. Which was amazing. The 80s, 84, you know, it was a great, great decade, right? If you're an 80s kid, you remember? And I got to sit here and watch them build target. Sat here, torch goes by, and all of us here is a big dirt field and a foundation for this target and the walls. Giant, huge. <laughs> Lord, holding up the wall. And the, Olymp the Olympic torch went right by you. Yes. You were sitting here. Sorry, here's my mom and my As and my a brother. 1984-ian. Yep, 10 and years old. Right by here. Yep. That's the 1984 Olympics archery yeah. range. Archery games from the 84 Olympics. And they didn't happen right here next to these trees. Nope. They happened right here. Yep. In this field. Look at this. At Eldorado this Park in Long Beach, California. 1984. That's right. Thousands upon thousands of people came to watch the Olympians show off their archery skills. Yes. Pretty cool. Yeah. What's the name of this place? El Dorado Park. El Dorado Park. If you're going to use the archery range out here, remember to follow a couple of rules. No broadheads or blunts in the target butts. Yes. Keep no broadheads or blunts in the target butts. Butts or exits. Follow the rules, Count Stankus. What is this? Did you know? What was this area used for? It's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any no. any hints? No. Talks about targets. No one shall advance to the targets until the whistle. Number two, 
All persons not shooting shall stand back at least ten feet. It was like a they killed people here. Man. Yeah, this would have been where they were to have the duels. <laughs> this is where the gunfights have. This is, <laughs> is it high noon right now? Is I it high so. noon? Man, check your watches. Let's get out of here before <laughs> the cowboys show up. Are you going through that? Yes. Are you really going I through that? I am Moses parting the seas. Moses. In Southern California. <laughs> Success. Count Moses. Yeah, baby. It's Toys R Us time. <laughs> Oh no, this isn't good. They want us to leave. Did you know stormtroopers are terrific dancers? Hey, you poorly. You ain't nothing but a lazy, stinking bum. That's right. Who are these guys here? Come on, that's right. That's what happened. I put my fist in the eyeball socket. Look into my eyes. See what's going on in there. Batman versus Superman. Whoa, three Superman. I guess Superman wins. Stopping off at one of my all time favorite places ever. This is one of those spots that every time I'm in the area or the general vicinity, I have to stop off and just pay my respects to the greatest movie ever made, Back to the Future. Yep. This place has definitely changed. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. Old Man Peabody, put all of it. He had this crazy idea about Breeding pine, pine trees. I always love this spot. This is where Doc was standing with the remote control. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious beep. Of course, we all remember last year was a huge anniversary year for Back to the Future. And there were a lot of people, a lot of Back to the Future fans out here with me, nerding out in the parking lot. And I've heard a rumor that inside the mall itself, is the Twin Pines Mall recreated sign that was up on the hill. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. This is awesome. Right here in the mall, they've displayed the Twin Pines Mall sign. So cool. So the thing most people don't see in the movie, you always see the outside of the mall. You don't see the inside of the mall, the Back to the Future mall. Dun, dun, dun. Clearly this mall promotes the space program. Clearly. You want some coffee, Count Sankus? Yes. 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 Is that the coffee grunt? Yes. I wonder how many frostings I could put in my coffee. Are you trying to ruin the shot? I'm gonna ride this right now. No, you can't. The employee is out to lunch. Should we just operate it ourselves? Do it. Should we go behind here and yeah. type on the keypad? Come on, do it, come on, do it. No, nah, it's probably not. We'll get we'll get uh, we'll get kicked out of here. Man, I wanna ride. This. Well, you could have had a sale. I would have rode this, Count Stankus would have rode this, but unfortunately. You were out to lunch. There's something that's frowned upon for an adult to ride in a mall train. Wait a second. Back to the Future 3 had a train. Could this have been the train from Back to the Future 3? It's shrunken down. The shrunken train. Sponsored by Wetzel's Pretzels. This might be a first for me, Count Stankus. Two Toys R Us in one Day. Two different locations. Aren't you blessed? So you're a fan of toys and you do a lot of toy reviews. See, so yes. you're dragging me along into well, two. This just happened to be here. So I didn't, I it didn't just so happened. It kind of works out. Yeah. Does this remind you of anything? <clears throat> Finding anything good? No.
now arriving at a location that's only open two days a week. I've been wanting to come here for a while. Yes. You haven't been here in a while either. Not a while. Yeah. And this is the midweek version of when it's open. It I'm talking about Frank and Sons collectible show. They got some good stuff in here. The doors are now open. They're letting people in. This is like herding cattle into the mecca of toy nerdery. Look at that giant E.T. I want E.T. I want that. Holy cow, I would not mind owning this either. Hey, 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 Murdoch, I'm coming to get you. Yash, yash, yash. It's safe to say they have a lot of these. What the heck? Find something? Yeah. A brand new five point articulation ray with a lightsaber. Those just came out, right? Yeah. On Solo. I don't know if that was my ask. This is the one that a guy, Disney, wanted to, uh, I don't know if it was Disney, but well, probably was that Walmart accidentally uh, put in their stores early before the movie came out. And uh, they were going to sue the guy who bought it. But Walmart Those put it Yeah. 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 I, remember, uh, I hadn't actually seen it personally. Yeah. So realistic, it looks just like Michael J. Fox. It's awesome. Maybe it's him. Marty! Oh, Mr. T. Look at this from Rocky. Play the food. Rocky Don't eat three. My cereal. <laughs> hey, woman. Hey, woman. I bet you stay up late every night dreaming you had a real man, wishing you had a real man. Yeah. Why do you bring your pretty little self over my apartment tonight? I'll show you a real man. It's got some good stuff. I remember having all this stuff when I was a kid. Skeletor, Battle Cat, and of course, everyone's favorite, Ram Man. It's Ram Man. I love these Simpsons, Simpsons I guess. Pretty cool. Mayor McCheese? Wow, they even have the old Fry Guy play area toys that you'd sit on. You'd sit right there and ride a hamburger. That tree brings back a lot of memories, as does that gargantuan spatula. I want to know what you bought, Count Stankus. Do you want to know what I bought yes. at Frank and Sons? I didn't yes. buy any toys. I went You're, to a toy how can you show. Go to Frank and Sons and not buy toys. I didn't buy any toys. What? I was drawn in by some horror film Blu-rays. Oh, okay. Check these bad boys out. A little TCM2. Yes. A little Dennis Hopper going nuts. Mm -hmm. A little Charlton Heston in the Omega Man. On Blu-ray. And awesome. The Prowler, Tom Savini classic. And yep. City of the Living Dead, which if you're not familiar with this, has one of the most dramatic puking scenes of innards of all time this is this is uh this is epic on the scale of horror film yeah. goodness right here yeah you got the i showed these earlier yeah but you added one i didn't show earlier yeah this i got neum num i found him is it neum num or neum num i, Nium -nium. I don't know Nium -nium. i don't know like neum like really yum yum knows. are you going to keep these on the card yeah. Or are you going to open up no. and play with them? No. So if I was to open this up right now in front of you, show me your angry face. Do you want to die? Please don't taunt me 